Dear students, now we are going to discuss the pin diagram of 80 to 51A in detail. Let's start with the features of 80 to 51A. The Intel 80 to 51A is an universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter controller. Simply use that. It is mainly used for serial communication interface. It allows full duplex serial communication. It has built-in baud rate generator. Baud rate means the rate at which the information is transferred in serial communication. Okay. It is fabricated as 28 pin dual inline package IC. Since it is a universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter, it supports both standard synchronous protocols and asynchronous protocols. The first one is standard synchronous protocols. So here it is having 5 to 8 bit character format. Internal and external character synchronization is done. Automatic sync insertion is available in the synchronous protocol. Here the baud rate is DC to 64 kilo baud. Okay. For this asynchronous, it is also having the same 5 to 8 bit character format. Here the parity detection and generation is available. But in this synchronous, there is no parity check. But for this asynchronous, it is having the parity detection as well as generation. Here the board it is from DC to 19.2K board. Okay. But for that synchronous, its value is DC to 64K board. Okay. Here the false start bit detection is possible. Automatic break detect and handling and break character generator. So, these are the additional features of asynchronous protocol. Okay. So, next, 80 to 51 has modem control logic. It provides error detection logic to detect parity, overrun, and framing errors. It provides double buffering of data in both transmission and reception. And also having separate clock signals for transmitter and receiver. Okay. This is the pin diagram of 80 to 51A. This is the signal diagram. As we know that it is available as 28 pin dual inline package chip. Okay. So in this left hand side there are 14 pins. Right hand side 14 pins. Okay. Totally 28 pins are there. It has 8 bit data bus. So here the data lines are represented as D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. Okay. And the third pin is RxD. RxD means receive data. Fourth pin is grounded one. Okay. So ninth pin is TXC bar. That is transmitter clock. So here this 80 to 51 is having separate clock signals for transmitter and receiver. So TXC represents the transmitter clock. Similarly RXC that is receiver clock. Okay. So here this right bar, CS bar, C by D bar, RD bar. This all are the control signals. Right signal, chip select signal, control register or data buffer. Here it is read bar. Okay. So the next one is receiver ready signal. It represents the receiver is ready to receive the data okay so next this side we can start from this 15th pin transmit ready okay so indicates that the transmitter is ready to transmit the data so the next one is sync detect or break detect okay so this is very important it is used in receiver side okay sync detect or the break detect okay so next cts cts means here we can see this, okay, clear to send data and this signals, okay, CTS, DSR, RTS, DTR. This four signals are used for modem related operations, okay. Here CTS means what? Clear to send data. So next one is transmit empty, that is transmitter is empty. Transmit data, then this is the common clock for this device. Reset. It is used to reset that 80 to 51. That means to make that 80 to 51 as an ideal one. 
So DSR, DSR means data set ready for modem and then RTS, RTS means request to send DTR. That is data terminal is ready. As I told you CTS, DSR, RTS, DTR. There's four are modem related signals. Okay. Since we are talking about serial communication, we need modem. Okay. The next one is VCC. That is power supply signal. Do you all understand? This is the pin diagram of 80 to 51A. So this is the signal diagram. We can group the signals based on its operation. Okay. So here the first one is data bus. It is having 8 bit data. Okay. So next read write control logic signals. Reset clock. C by D bar. Read signal. Write signal. And chip select signal. Okay. This all are the read write control logic signals. Next modem related signals are DSR, DTR, CTS, RTS. Okay. So here this DSR and CTS, this two are the input signal to this 80 to 51, you sat. Okay, so DSR means what? Data set ready. It indicates that the data is ready to this you sat. Okay, CTS means clear to send the data. And this two are output signals, DTR, data terminal ready. And next one is request to send. This two are the output from this you sat to the device okay so here the transmission related signals are txd that is transmitter data tx rdy that is transmitter ready here it is transmit empty and then transmitter clock signal similarly for this reception we can have rxd rx ready signal and then clock signal for this reception and synchronous direct signal then the power supply signals one is the power supply another one is for ground okay so this is the pin diagram and signal diagram of this usat controller let's discuss each pin in detail here first one is data bus it is a bidirectional tri-state 8-bit data bus it allows the transfer of data between the processor and the usat 80 to 51a okay so the next one is rewrite control logic signals. There are six control logic signals available. Read bar, write bar, clock signal, reset, control register or data buffer, chip select. Okay. So here the clock signal is used to generate the internal timing of the device. This is common one. Okay. So reset. If reset is equal to 1, 80 to 51 enters into that ideal state. Okay. So next. C by D bar. C by D bar means control register or data buffer select. So here we are going to select the read write operations based on the combination of C by D bar, read bar and write bar. So here bar represents it is an active low signal. Whenever it is low it can be activated. If the combination is 0, 0, 001 the CPU reads data from USAT. So here it is an active low signal that's why we can prefer this read operation okay. So next one is 0 1 0 CPU writes data into USAT. So next 1 0 1 CPU reads status from USAT and here 1 1 0 that means CPU writes comment word to this USAT. Finally X represents don't care condition that means it can be either 0 or 1 okay. So next, this read bar as well as write bar, both the signals are high. Then use that bus floating that values, okay. So next one is chip select. It is an active low signal. When the signal is low, it allows the communication between the processor and 80 to 51. That is what chip select. So next one is transmitter related signals. That is TXD, transmitter data. The signal transmit the serial stream of data on the falling edge of the clock signal. So here the transmitter is having its own clock signal. It can transmit this data on the falling edge of this transmitter clock signal. Okay. So next transmitter ready. The signal indicates the processor that the transmitter is ready to accept the data to be transmitted. So we have to get the data from the processor and then we can transmit. So that's what doing this 80 to 51 here. 
So next transmitter empty. This signal indicates the processor that the transmitter is empty. Okay. So next see that is transmitter clock signal. It is an active low signal. Okay. So it controls the transmission process. So next receiver related signals. RXD that is receiver data. The signal receives the data on the rising edge of the receiving clock signal. Rx represents the receiving clock signal. So in the previous one, the transmit data can be done on the falling edge of the Txc. Here in this receiver side, it can receive the data on the rising edge of the Rxc. So next, receive ready signal. The signal indicates that the user contains a character that is ready to give us input to the processor. So it has to receive the signal and send it to the processor. Okay. So next receiver clock signal. This signal controls the rate at which the character is to be received. Okay. This one is synchronous detection or break detect. So this signal is used in synchronous mode for detection of synchronous character. In case of asynchronous mode, it goes high. That indicates there is a break in the data stream. Okay. So next modem related signals, there are four modem related signals available, DSR, data set ready. So this signal is used to test modem conditions that the data set is ready. Okay, so if the data set is ready to transmit or receive, we can set this modem signal. That is data terminal ready. This output signal is used to tell modem that the data terminal is ready, okay, to transmit as well as receive. So next, request to send. Here this signal indicates that it is ready to begin the transmission and CTS, that is clear to send. It is an active low signal. So whenever the signal is low, it enables that user to transmit serial data, okay, with the condition the transmitter is empty. If the transmitter is empty, it starts beginning. It starts.